Snack bar is a nice feature that you can inform the users of RAP about the current status of the application or what's going to happen in the future. Hi everyone, I am Matt from Designated and I'm going to learn you how you can implement Snack bar in your own application. So let's get started by opening up an Android Studio and creating a new project with an empty activity. You can name it however you want and then click on the finish. Now wait for the project to load and in the meanwhile we can go back to the material design page, head over to the implementation tab and click on the getting started page. From here we need to copy the dependency implementation and we are going to implement this dependency in our application. So open up Android Studio, head over to the grader scripts and click on the build grader. Here paste the dependency and type the latest version of the material design. For me it's 1.6.1 uh, and click on the sync now button. Now we will adjust our layout a little bit and we are going to use the linear layout together with the button that will show snack bar. We are going to center this button and we also need to put an ID to it. And we are also going to put an ID to our linear layout. Now open up the main activity class and we need to initialize this to so let's start with the linear layout. And continue with the button. Now we are going to create an on click listener for our button. So when we click on this button, we are going to show nice snack bar. And here in this on click listener, we are going to create snack bar. We are going to use our main layout to show this snack bar in. And the text is going to be something like you have lost your connection, please try again. And the duration is going to be short. Now we also need to click, uh, sorry, we also need to specify an action and it is going to be our retry button with the new on click, sorry, with the new on click listener as well here. This will for example lock a message for us that someone pressed retry. Now we need to make this snack bar to show it. So just write show after you are done with making your snack bar. Now let's try to run our app and also open a lock cat so we can see this lock message. So now that our app has started we can try to click on the show snack bar button and we can see that there is nice snack bar shown down there. And when we click on the retry Sorry, I missed it. When we, when we click on the retry, we can see that our on click listener is working and you can implement some of, your, some of your own functions there, like refreshing the function you want to use or anything else you want to implement this snack bar for. So, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you have any comments, 
Sorry, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will try to answer them all. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.